All right, so then you're going to iron it down. And be careful because earlier today I noticed on one, and hopefully it wasn't on many of them, when I ironed over the elastic, it kind of melted it. All right, so you iron it down. And then you take it to your machine. Here, let me, okay, take it to your machine. And make sure your, make sure your things are, your thread is through here and back. And your thing is up. Okay, then, Liz, I don't know if you're a sewer. Maybe you are. So then you start, and you sew along. I should have showed you the beginning, but I didn't, and I'm not going to make another one. But, oh, crap. This Sometimes with this elastic thing, it's a little hard, and, and you start. have to... Do you want no, to start over? No. So you have to kind of feed it through at the beginning, because that's kind of... It can get jimmed up there. So if you're noticing it's not moving, feed it. And your wheel on the side always goes towards you. Don't spin it back. Um, all right, here we go. So this is your next step. Oh, jeez. I'm not good on camera. I do these better than this. All right, so you you plant your thing. I don't know how much you guys know. You plant your needle so it holds it down. So the next step is, let me just, where's my card? Hold on. So they show in the tutorial to make a card, that's as close as I could get it, but it does work for this particular part. So then you take and you get your three lines on this thing here that's evenly done. And then you just use your chalk if you've got it or whatever marker and mark those three lines. Now this is the point where she tells you to pin things. I cannot pin stuff because I just don't have that kind of dexterity. So what I've been doing is this material is actually awesome. If you can find something like this with a short pattern, like this size, because you take it and you fold it up and you see how that kind of lines up with that next pattern? and iron it down and then you take your next one and see how this pattern is if you can find this kind of material it works excellent because you don't really have to pay too much attention I'm doing it kind of fast so it's not going to be perfect and then iron that one down good and I have some water because it makes it easier. Oh, that's too much water. All right, so it makes it easier. For them to stay if you've wet it. And I would have taken these threads out, but I'm trying to hurry with this video so that I'm not wasting time. Now see this next one? Watch how easy this becomes. And there's your line over here. And then that goes down. And I don't like, you know what a perfectionist I can be. I do not like that. All right, so see how easy that material, I just lucked out with this material because that's exactly how it's supposed to be. But I don't pin this. She's gonna tell you to pin this, I cannot. So if you just take it to your machine and put it down the this flat way here. Now make sure those things are in the back. Otherwise, you're going to get screwed up. And just hold it all down. And those shouldn't be there, but they are. And then... 
and you got to start this this you can feel it the minute it's not going to work in your machine it starts to make that ugly sound so just work through the parts that don't want to get going and then make sure you hold your pleats down I should probably be in a little bit there it goes and because you ironed it you don't have to do all that pinning and then I just, I don't know, Mo, did you have Mrs. Holt? Because she did teach us a lot of good stuff um, about pulling threads through. I don't know if you know that. You'll have to uh, let me know what you don't know. So I just tie all this stuff together and cut it down. But that's it. Pretty cool, huh?